Growing on social media is all about standing out. You have a split second to grab the attention of a potential audience member, and the fastest way to do that is a hook at the beginning of your video, something to draw their attention and make them say, wait, this is different from everything else that I've been looking at. And hooks are something that you can be really creative with. One of my recent favorites was me throwing my camera on the ground and then doing a reverse clip and the camera came back to my hand. I thought this looked really cool. I did another one where I spun a quarter and then put it on top of this really small camera lens. That video did extremely well and I recently came up with this other new idea where I took one clip of my camera sitting on my desk like this and then I filmed another clip of me taking the lens off the camera showing it basically getting the camera set up and then dropping it back into the camera that was already in the frame so I'm gonna show you how I created this hook using Canva so what I did is on the Canva homepage I went to mobile video and then I went to the video files that I just described to you I'm gonna drop the first one into my timeline this is the video Video of me messing around with the camera putting the lens on so let's run through the video as you can see put the lens on the camera shake it around drop it on the table now I recorded another clip once I dropped the camera on the table so the camera was in the same position right here is the second clip it's just 5.6 seconds of the camera sitting there so I take this second clip and I go ahead and drop it in my timeline as well now I'm gonna click on edit up here in the top left and I'm gonna click background remove this is a really cool tool that Canva has and it's the reason we're using Canva for this edit so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up to the top of this and I'm gonna click remove from background. Now, when I remove the background, now I can slide this over to that first clip and essentially drag and drop it to the right size and it's gonna overlay on my original clip. So now this clip is playing with me putting the camera on the lens and it's like the camera is already there. So now that it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and click on download, click download once again, and now the file is on my computer. So that's the first thing you gotta know. If you wanna grow on social media, you gotta hook people's attention so Somehow. Do something at the beginning of your video, whether it's an Instagram reel, YouTube short, to stand out amongst the crowd of content being posted every single day. And the reason I like to use Canva for this is because Canva has all these video tools that are accessible to everyone. Canva has a pro tier as well, which we are going to explore in this video, but Canva is a tool that any creator can use for free. So I highly recommend if you're just now getting started with social media, check out Canva. It's a tool that I've been using since I started my photography career. Way back in 2015, my friend Tara at Epitome showed me Canva. We used it for invoicing, we used it for presentation decks, we used it for social media posts, and it's something that I've continued to use into my business. And they're the sponsor on today's video, so you can go to the link in the description down below and get 45 days of Canva Pro for free. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Evan Ramp. I'm the owner of ModernCreativeMoney.com, and this YouTube channel is dedicated to photographers looking to explore ideas, live a better life, and make money with their camera. So if that's sounds like you hit that subscribe button and I realized that I did a little hook tactic at the beginning of this video and didn't explain what this video was about I just jumped the right into helping y'all out we are going over three main ways that you can stand out on social media in 2023 and beyond now we all know how big video is on social media and today we're going to be exploring things that you can implement into your YouTube shorts Instagram reels and TikToks, and even Twitter videos now what's really cool about today's social media world is the fact that if you create one piece of media, these short form videos, you can post them to basically every social media platform and they're going to be prioritized. Basically right now there's a race amongst all these social media platforms to become the top dog when it comes to these short form videos. And by creating one short video, you can share it to all these platforms and expose yourself to all these different audiences easier than ever. It's just about thinking in a new way when it comes to your photography and your creativity to grow your your personal brand. Now, that first tip was creating a hook, doing something interesting at the beginning of the video. The second tip I have for y'all is creating a value proposition with your audience. Give them something. Give them information that they might need. Teach them something. Help them. That is one of the easiest ways for your brand to stick in someone else's head. If they can learn from you, you are going to stand out amongst the sea of just garbage content that is posted to the internet every single day. So let's jump back into Canva. I'm going to show you how to utilize one of their templates and create something that actually helps an audience member rather than waste their time. So once again, we start out on the Canva homepage and we're gonna go to mobile video. So we click on mobile video and I found this template a while back that I really like. This one basically started out as some type of budget travel hacks, but
but this fits the idea that we're going for providing value. And I really like how the text is already animated and everything is set up for us. We just have to plug in our clips. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in this clip of me with my camera. And once I resize that to fit the template, I'm gonna go ahead and change the titles on here to how to photograph yourself in we'll say 12 seconds to start out. You know, you really wanna get that hook in there at the beginning. So 12 seconds seems like something that will grab people's attention. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this next clip with the back of my camera. I'm gonna go ahead and resize this as well. And once again, we're gonna change out the titles to fit the video that we're creating. So we're gonna show our camera settings here, interval timer, ISO, our aperture, speed, all that good stuff. So now we have our camera settings here on this second slide, move everything around to fit. Go to our third slide, we're gonna change this follow for more. We're gonna add a clip here of me walking out in front of my camera and we're gonna change the title to walk in front of camera. Seems pretty obvious, but gotta tell people that's how you photograph yourself. And for this last clip, we're gonna go ahead and add in the final photo right here. So let's get everything dialed in, resize everything. Turns out this video is 10 seconds, so we're gonna change the title at the beginning to how to photograph yourself in 10 seconds. Let's get playback on this, and video's looking good has all the information that we need in a very short, compact video, and it shows the final result using the method. So we can go ahead and download this right now by clicking share, download, download, but there's some other things that we can do to this video. We can go ahead and click edit video right here, and that background removal tool is what we just used, but we're gonna jump over to the adjustment sliders, and here we can adjust the tint, the warmth, the brightness, the contrast, essentially all the settings that you would edit on a photo, we can edit on this video to help that text really stand out. Now, another thing we're gonna do to make this stand out is add some animations. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on elements up here, and I'm gonna scroll through and click on stickers. Now, these stickers are animated. There's a bunch of different things that you can do with them. There's so many options, but I'm gonna add one to each one of these slides. So I'm gonna select these arrows right here to really grab people's attention and point them towards that 10 seconds. Essentially, the idea here is letting the audience member know, like, hey, this is only 10 seconds of your time. We're gonna do the exact same thing here. I'm gonna try to find like a cool circle. So I'm gonna go to the shapes tab in the elements. I like this kind of like glitchy looking circle. I'm gonna drag this in. I'm gonna go ahead and resize this as well to make sure it fits. This is gonna bring everyone's eyes towards those camera settings, which is the really important part of this particular short form video that we're creating. So get this all resized right here. Gonna click those dots again. Gonna go to show timing once again. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the timing on this so it's just like the first slide, the circle pops in a little bit later. Now I'm gonna do this same process one more time with another arrow right here. I'm gonna go with this longer arrow to basically point and say, hey, walk in front of the camera. It's pretty obvious animation for this particular slide. But there we go, got this arrow moving, gonna resize it and get it to fit where it needs to fit on the particular video. And once again, click these dots, we're gonna go to show timing right here, and we're gonna time this out so it pops up just a little bit after the video clip transitions. Now, for this last one right here, we're gonna go ahead and add a follow sticker. So I'm gonna go to the social media stickers, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one that says follow. I'm gonna drag this in. I think this is a good call to action for the end of the video. People watch through and then they see a quick little you know, call to action of follow. We'll click time remapping or show timing once again. And from here, we are gonna do the exact same thing we've done on the other slides. So that pops out a little bit after the animation happens. So there's our first clip. Here is our second clip, third clip and our final photo with that follow. Quick and easy, now we can click share again, download and download this and have it saved on our computer. You can create an entire social media empire based on providing value to people. So think to yourself, what is the unique thing that you have that you can provide to a potential audience? And don't overthink it. You can keep these tips short. They don't have to be long drawn out things. They can be very simple like that example that I just showed you. Now, the third piece of advice I have for y'all to stand out on social media 
media going forward is to tell a story. Everyone knows that on social media, watch time is key to having your media shown to other people. The longer someone watches your particular piece of content, the more likely algorithms are to show it to other people because watch time is an indication of this piece of content being interesting. So one of the easiest ways to keep people's attention is to tell a story that has a payoff. Now, a strategy that I like to use with this particular style of short form video is presenting the video like a math equation to your potential audience member. Now you can take this concept and apply it to what you do however you want. But if you're an artist like me, it would go something like this. The camera plus the location equals the photo or the photo plus the edit equals the print or the location plus the photo equals the print. You can think about how you wanna do this in a million different ways, but for today's example, we're gonna take the camera that I used, which was an iPhone 14 Pro, a filter that I used, which was a ProMist filter, and we're gonna show how these two things combined equal a particular photo. This is a really cool way for photographers to showcase the images that they're creating with just a little more context and a little bit more storytelling behind. It. This video is going to be very short, but it presents the final photo in a much more unique, interesting way than simply just posting it to social media. And we all know how important it is to stand out in today's social media world. And frankly, just simply posting a photo doesn't do it anymore. Doing something like this that provides some context and storytelling is really helpful to showcasing that photography that you work so hard on. So let's go ahead and jump into Canva one last time and I'll break down how you can create this. Now, once again, we're gonna start on the Canva homepage. We're gonna click on mobile video and we're gonna go through all the templates that Canva has to offer. Now, what I recommend is finding a template that sort of matches the style of video that you're already trying to create. Like we did with the last video, this is a template that has three photos with text on them and transitions already built in. So this is gonna be a very easy edit for us. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and replace the photos that are built into this template. So first I'm gonna add in the camera that I'm using. So we'll go ahead and change the text to say the camera. Now for the second one, we're gonna drop in a clip of me putting the filter over the camera. So we're gonna change this to the filter right here. And for the last one, we're gonna go ahead and drop in the final photo, the end of this equation that we're showcasing and we're gonna add the photo here. Now, once I add that in, I'm gonna resize or retime everything just to make sure it flows and each clip is about the same length. This template already has transitions built into it. So if we click on the transition, we can change the particular transitions between the clips. Now, there's so many different ones. There's this color wipe that I think is really cool. So let's say you have a particular color palette that you're trying to use or you wanna have a signature transition that you incorporate into every single one of your edits, this is a way Way to do it utilizing color. So maybe you always use the exact same colors. So there's so many different ways that you can customize the transitions on the clips in your video. But for today's example, we're gonna go ahead and just stick with Match and Move, which is in beta by Canva right now. It's the one that was built into this template. Let's just go ahead and stick with that. I think it looks good. Now, we can also animate the text if we want by clicking the three dots when we have our text highlighted, going to animate, and we have a the same amount of customizable options here. You can have the text slide in, you can have it wipe in. But for this example, we're gonna go ahead and use fade. So I'm gonna to click to the next tab and I'm gonna go ahead and click these three dots once again, go to animate, and we're gonna to go to fade on this one as well. So the text fades in and we're gonna do the exact same thing here. Go to animate once we click those three dots and we're gonna change that text to fade. So now each piece of text is animated to match. And once again, we can go ahead and click on on show timing for each one of these pieces of text. So the text doesn't drop in immediately. It comes in shortly after the clip starts. I think this makes for a smoother watch. Now, one last thing we can do here is we can add in music from Canva's extensive music library. So let's say you're someone who works with clients or you don't wanna deal with having to add music after the fact because on Instagram, you add one song, on YouTube, it's another song. You can pick from all the different songs that Canva has to offer. Me personally, I like something a little more ambient for this particular short form video. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in this song right here to the bottom of our timeline. You can move the song around and pick whatever part you want, but I think the beginning works really well for this particular video. And let's get playback, everything looks good. So from here, we can go up to share, click download, download. Now we have a video that can be shared across all of our social media platforms utilizing the exact same song. Thank you. 
So there we go, three ways to stand out amongst the sea of minutia and terrible media that is posted to the internet every single day. Let's review. Number one is to create a hook. Do something to grab your audience's attention from the start. Number two is to create a value proposition. Give something to your audience, help them. And number three is to tell a story around whatever it is that you're doing. Show part of the process. Now, if you have anything to add to this video, go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. But this is the easiest time ever Ever to grow on social media if you play it right. In this video, we made three different things that can be shared across five different platforms, exposing you to five different potential audiences. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. And thank you to Canva for sponsoring today's video. Remember, if you want to try a 45 day trial of Canva Pro, head to the link in the description down below and utilize all the tools that we took advantage of in today's video.